Arsenal in 2021, Manchester City in 2022, Manchester United in 2023. Three straight FA Cups for Chelsea, three straight Sam Kerr winners in front of a record-breaking Wembley crowd of over 77,000. Kerr gave Chelsea a 1-0 win that keeps alive their hopes of a third consecutive double. said to the girls at half-time, listen... This is the grind. This is what it's about. And I, honestly, I say this, only we know, know what this is like. We're the team that have done it year on year, grind and grind and grind to compete on all fronts. We should win that game, in our opinion. We, th we feel that we do enough. We've got big moments that, that Sam's taken one. Apart from that, it didn't really create that much. Only when we're, they're trying to counter us as we're trying to uh, get back into the game. So I'm really proud of all of the girls who showed a real maturity and something that will only hold us in good stead going into these games in the future. So there we go, Sue. Chelsea winners 2023. They've dominated this trophy in the past few seasons. But was there a sign, perhaps, uh, that their dominance could be under serious threat here? I certainly think there's teams competing with Chelsea now, but I just think they showed the, the know-how, the experience to, to go on and, and win the game because Manchester United were, were the better side, um, especially in that, that first half, created opportunities. They, they just weren't clinical. Um, they couldn't find that that finishing touch that, that they needed. And, and Chelsea just had that belief. They were able to bring on a player like Penilla Harder who change the game pretty much. I think her, her quality shone through. I think when you've got a player like Sam Kerr as well, who actually just knew that she was going to score. I think she said she texted one of her, her mates back home and said backflip incoming, which is just, that is just the confidence, isn't it, of the player that she knew there was going to be a celebration. She knew she was going to score the winner. And, and that's what they have. They have that winning mentality because they've been there and done it. So there's no consolation for Manchester United, but they will learn from this experience. They'll know that... Yes, we performed well, but we didn't come away with the, the trophy. So you think if they're there next year, they'll have that, that experience behind them. Yeah, I, I send you that text every Monday morning. <laughs> I've still I? not seen <laughs> it. <laughs> and then you arrive and my back's gone. <laughs> All right, um, these two teams are first and second in the WSL as well. Uh, how far have United come then? Uh, uh, is, is there a sense that they're running ahead of schedule here? Yeah, I think so. I think if you speak to, to Mark Skinner and, and the coaching staff, they'd say that's exactly where they want to be. You know, they want to be winning trophies. They've got the players to, to do that. But you can certainly see the progression in this side, that the quality of, of players that they've got individually, they've also got collectively this, this real team, this real togetherness. They've got great fans that, that go everywhere and, and support them wherever they go. And then also they've got now that, that strength and depth off the bench where those players can come on and, and make a difference. They weren't able to, to do that yesterday today um, but they're certainly you know in a, in a great position at the moment you just think Chelsea have got that advantage with the game in hand you would expect them to to go on and win it but certainly Manchester United have, have pushed them close all season well, they've still got to play Arsenal though haven't they, they do Chelsea? which will be tough but United still got to play City I think yes I think yeah. It is, yeah so a double do you think for Chelsea this season Quite possibly. Um, and like I say, I think looking at that final against Manchester United, you thought this is a 50-50 game. This can go absolutely anywhere. The way that Manchester United performed will, again, they'll reflect at the end of the season and go, look, we performed really well. We just didn't go on and win it. If they don't win the league, again, they'll say the performances this season have been great, but we haven't quite managed to, to get the trophies. And that's certainly something that they'll want next season. Yeah, uh, we, we've got to mention the Wembley crowd here. A world record for a women's domestic game. 30,000 more than a Ended the final last year. Astonishing figures. Oh, astonishing. Just shows the appetite for the women's game and, and where the women's game is at this moment in time. It's, it's come a long way. It's still, still obviously progressing, but it's just a brilliant atmosphere. Lots of, you know, family friendly, um, lots of women there, lots of kids there and absolutely no trouble. They just went there and just enjoyed the, the fantastic football that was on show.